Hey guys, it's Lillian. So I'm just coming to you with my March favorites and I have a lot of stuff. Um, so I'm just going to jump into it. I'm going to go eyes, lips, face, uh, nails, and then like body stuff. Okay, so for eyes, um, I got this eye primer. It's the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer and um, this has worked really well with um, an eyeshadow that I'm going to talk to you about and all my other eyeshadows as well but I will show you the eyeshadow that I've been using it mostly with um, uh, this uh, mascara is also one of my favorites it's the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara and I love this so much um, it's almost time to throw it out it's almost been like the three months um, so I got picked up another mascara today um, it's the new it's the new one um, I think it's the false fiber or something like that it's in another gold tube um, like the uh, millions of lashes and then eyeliner that I've been loving um, is my Maybelline eye studio gel liner and for those of you who've been watching me from the beginning or at least from maybe August um, know that I really really love this um, gel liner and now the eyeshadow quad that I've been using a lot is this Revlon Colorstay 16 hour eyeshadow um, quad in Precocious and this lasts, um, well I haven't worn it for 16 hours but it lasts for the whole amount of time that I wear it and it just looks like that and this is so pretty, I love it so so much and it works amazingly in conjunction with the uh, eye primer that I've been using. Now for lips, I've been loving a lip combo which is, this is the first uh, part of the lip combo is the Revlon Lip Butter in Brown Sugar and it's just a nice neutral on me and it just looks like that and I've been wearing that on top of um, Revlon Super Lustrous Ice Mocha or Iced Mocha yeah, iced mocha. And it just looks like that. It's a pearl finish. And it's really, it goes on so smooth. It's so comfortable on your lips. And then the last lip product that I've been loving is my Maybelline Baby Lips in Grapevine. And it's just a purple chopstick. It does have a nice um, slight tint to it. And it smells amazing. I love the scents of this. It's so nice. And now for face, um, I've been using a concealer quite a bit this month. I guess it's because um, March is the last month of, of actual classes and everybody's like stressing out and um, we have exams come April and um, everybody just looks like the living dead. <laughs> and so I've been using two different concealers, both from MAC. Um, one is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC50 and then the other one is... Um, the MAC uh, a Select Moisture Cover in NW45. For my whole face, I'm NW45 in the powder, and when you're using concealer under your eyes, you want to go with the NC. Um, so the lady matched me with the NC. I got this a while ago. So she matched me with the NC50, and I do use this under my eye very um, lightly because it, it is a thick formula, and I put this on top of it because I feel like this is just a little too light, and I feel like with it mixed together, it's the perfect combination. Um, and another MAC product that I've been loving, I've had this like literally probably since high school. Um, it's my NW45 Studio Fix uh, foundation, powder foundation, and I love this so much. This has been very, very good to me. Um, also, I've been loving my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, the oil-free one. And this is just in the color Mocha. And I got this last summer, uh, probably in June, June or July, I can't remember. And it's probably halfway done because I don't wear makeup every single day. But it's been really good to me. Um, another face product that I've been loving is my uh, CoverGirl Professional Loose Powder in Translucent Honey. And this stuff is amazing. I love it so much. I wear this every day just in my T-zone just to control the shine. And for a cheek color or blush, I've been loving my NARS um, Teos, I believe that's what it's called. And it just looks like this. This is such a beautiful color. It's like a 
gorgeous coral for dark skin and I think that it would look good on light skin but you probably probably just have to use a lighter hand and then the last face product that I've been loving is my Urban Decay D Slick Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray and it just looks like this and it definitely does help to keep um, my shininess, oiliness under control and um, I don't know about the 16 hours but you know it does help um, now for uh, nails, there are three nail polishes that, I, that I've been really loving. Um, one is by China Glaze and it's in the color Agro and it's just this nice green color. I wore it for St. Patrick's Day and um, yeah, I just really love it and whenever you're taking it off, there's like this nice gold color on your nails before you rub it all off. I don't know. I just really, really like it. And then the two other nail polishes that I've been liking are um, Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear Nail Color. And one is in Mellow Yellow and the other is in Pacific Blue. And I'm wearing Pacific Blue right now. And these are the two colors. And the Mellow Yellow, I actually wore this um, with uh, OPS Teenage Dream on top of it. And it looked so, so pretty. And I loved it. It was amazing. And it got a lot of um, compliments on it. Now for body, um, I've been loving this Bath & Body Works Central Amber Body Lotion and this stuff smells amazing. For some people this might be a heavier scent but I really, really, really love this. And um, I would use two different um, perfumes like, you know, switch it out every day um, with this. And the first one would be my Halle Berry perfume. This is just her original perfume and this smells amazing. I love it. And then the second perfume that I'd wear it with would be my Hilary Duff With Love perfume, which also smells amazing. I love this so much. Um, and then my last body product that I've been loving as well is my Victoria's Secret Pink with a splash in um, Sweet and Flirty. And this smells amazing as well. I got this last summer. So I forgot to add in my music and television favorites. So for music, I've been loving um, a Victoria Duffield song called Feel. She's kind of like Britney Spears, but more appropriate and a lot younger. And um, yeah, I just like it. It's good dance music. It's good um, workout music. Um, I like Emmy Rosam's song called, uh, I can't remember slow me down it's it's such a nice relaxing song i really like it and then a song that i literally bought like two or three days ago is katherine mcphee's song everywhere i go i don't know i just really like it it's a very nice and chill song and then a, gr a group that i've been loving a lot is um they're called jesus culture um i think they're from the states and their music is just so good you guys should go check them out um i'll put maybe a link either in the video or in the bottom bar below just some of the songs that i really like for television like obviously you know like the vampire diaries pretty little liars stuff like that oh for pretty little liars how did you think of the ending um like obviously they could they weren't going to show a because if they showed a then it would kind of like ruin things for us for the next two seasons um yeah so i just wanted to know what you guys thought of the ending of that and um, new shows that I've been loving, Smash, that show's so good. The Firm is like freaking amazing. GCB, that show is hilarious. Like I literally die laughing. Um, the Ringer, um, I believe I started in September. That show, I love it. And I'm sure there's more, but I, they're just not coming to my head right now. But yeah, those are my music and television favorites. So. Let's move on to the ending of this video. Bye. So that is it for my favorites. I hope you all enjoyed it. And um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any requests of any kind, just put it in the bottom, uh, the comment section below. And yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.